welcome back to my channel if you guys are new thank y'all so much for tuning in to today's video if you are already a part of the mcd squad you guys today we are doing a get ready with me i am doing hair makeup and scent of the day i have a few errands to run so i thought that it was perfect i'm also excited to be partnering up with nandula hair they sent me over this gorgeous biolage unit and i wanted to share with you guys so i'm going to quickly go ahead and get this applied and then we'll get into the makeup this is the unit that's how it looks. Really nice tight curls. Um, it does have the elastic band inside already, which I love. Um, and that is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna hey, you guys. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my unit. Now, y'all, well, if you're new to my channel, you've never seen this, so I will link everything down below. But I am just taking my bed head spray um, and I'm just gonna quickly apply that. But let's go ahead and talk about the specs of the hair and how I received it because I wanted to quickly show you guys how it looks straight out the package uh, because this is really a unit that came pre plugged. You don't necessarily have to do anything to it, especially if you do not want to. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit of foundation powder on the edges just to make sure that it's blended in. I love the flawless curls. If you want to switch it up, you just don't want it too crispy. And we're trying to give the illusion of a of the hair coming out the scalp anyway, so... I'm just quickly gonna get my baby hairs under control, but let's get into the specs, which is, this is a 13 by four unit by a large hair came pre-color, which I love. Um, and then it's also 24 inches. Hair color is so pretty. Like, it is gorgeous. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize the hair, go ahead and put my band around, so that way, it, by the time I get done with my makeup, I can, it'll be set and I can kind of move it over. I don't know if I'm doing no part, kind of like flipped over. I don't know what I wanna do. I'm gonna go in and just quickly go ahead and apply my wax stick y'all this is one of the best wax sticks that i've ever tried in my life i remember using this wax stick like when i was first in beauty school and y'all we have been stuck like i tried things in between you know here and there but yeah this is bomb if you're new into wigs you're just trying to find a new wax stick check it out down below in the description box for you guys for sure I always feel like ponytails make me look like a little girl. So I try to stay away from them. This is cute. So as far as like the plucking, you guys, I only plucked a little bit on the sides. I didn't pluck anything right here. It did come pre-plucked. So you literally can rock it as is. So I wanted to quickly go ahead and knock out the styling process. So I decided just to go ahead and moisturize the hair. Um, I'm wetting it with my water, um, which I do like a conditioner mix. And then I'm just spraying it with my um, curling products. Um, I really, really love um, Tresemme curl products. Like they are really bomb. Um, and so I'll put them down below for you guys. Um, I use it on all of my curly units for my clients, as well as myself. Like, yeah, they're, they're just really good. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and saturate that hair um, and we're going to make it work and do what it do so we can get to the face. Actually guys, so let's go ahead and get into the skin. I am going to go in. First of all, I've already applied my moisturizers and stuff like that. I'm just going to blend this in real quick. I'm go in with my cover cream. The cover cream I'm using, this is the shade Chroma 5. I just take literally a less than a pea size and kind of rub it in with my fingers, warm it up. And then I just apply it with my fingers and then i blend it in you don't have to even blend it in with the sponge if you want to for today i'm going to go in and try we're trying some new eye products 
So I'm just going to go ahead and do my skin and my base first, you guys. Um, I fast forwarded this step because you guys have seen this and I'm not trying too many new products on the face as of right now for this particular video. We're just going to focus on the eyes. So I am just blending out my bronzer, the bronzer that I am using. I want to say it is the um, Juvia's Place bronzer if I'm not mistaken, because it's leaving like that moisture on the skin. Um, and then I just put, you know, my concealers all over my face. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out my face makeup so we can get straight into the eyes. So I'm going to go on my, with my blush. I'm using this Juvia's Place. Y'all, I've been super obsessed with the liquid blushes. I'm just obsessed with blush, period. This one is in the shade Coral Road. I just felt like this is perfect for the fall. So just to save time, I did a lot of my steps for my face off camera, um, but I am using the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just pressing it underneath so we can set everything as far as like the concealer and just kind of mattify that face a little bit. So let's go ahead and get into these eyes. Right, we're going to play around with a few um, new eye products um, that I had got from Laura Mercier. Uh, so I'm just adding my base. The base that I'm using is P. Louise. Um, I'm using two different shades. One that's closer to my skin, which I want to say is shade six. Um, but if it's not, I'll put it down below. Okay, so we're just going to use one or the other. I feel like this one is more peachy, which is my nail color. Um, let me try this one first, which is all natural, and then we'll see. I will say one of the things that I really like about this is that I can blend it in with my fingers. Honestly, this just looks like my base and you can't see any, I mean, you can tell there's something there, but it just looks like my base. So I'm sure I'm going to end up putting something on top of it because it's real. It's giving real natural. So I ended up using shade Doom to put on top of it and it's more peachy. So I don't know if that's even a the look that I'm going for, but actually I see more color. So I actually like this more than the other one. So I'm gonna put this on this on the other eye too. So as far as the crown stick, I feel like it can it could be an addition, especially if you are looking for something quick. Uh, I feel like pop that thing on the eye, put a little chocolate in the crease and you're done. Like for my girls who don't got too much time, perfect. So I'm just gonna add my bronzer. I like to warm it up because I love warmer tones but i do know you know for each season you don't necessarily have to but i don't know i just like the warmth honestly you could leave this as is like where it's adding you a little bit of color in the crease and you already got your eyeshadow color it's really a basic look palette the palette i'm using is from now i'm gonna go in with these two shades right here so guys, I'm actually getting ready for the day. So I just felt like a really nice, soft, matte look that was wearable for daytime. You really could take this in tonight if you wanted to, but I definitely think this is like office appropriate, work appropriate, school appropriate, whatever, um, because it's so soft. So you don't necessarily have to use the products that I'm using. I, I like am using um, the NARS palette. Um, I will list everything down below that's still available. And if it's sold out, I've you know put like a little asterisk next to it. But I do think that you know you really could achieve this look with any new type palette um, that it's a, is more affordable if you choose to so you don't have to just stick to this if, if you don't want to 
So I just definitely wanted to mention that because I, you know, I have people that always tell me that to use more affordable products and I feel like I do, but I also like to kind of mix and match. So I may use something that may be considered high end, but I'm also going to use something that's like two, three dollars. I don't know. It's just the best of both worlds per se or balance. So next I'm going to go in and I'm lining my eyes. Um, I actually used a Laura Mercier liner. They have sent over a few of their new liners and they are super creamy, you guys. I've been obsessed with wearing a brown at the top. And so that's what I did. I actually ended up using one of their black liners inside. I, I don't, I want to say it's called Onyx, but I'm, I don't think that that's the right name. But I'll link it down below for sure. And then I'm just going to go in and smoke out that lower lash line using a chocolate brown eyeshadow. And then also a little bit of my bronzer. I'm just going to add a few coats of mascara and I ended up popping my lashes on off camera. So I'm just adding a little bit of bronzer and it looks like I'm actually using the NARS um, today. So I take that back. It was not Juvia's Place. It was the NARS. Um, I will link it down below for you guys. It's just shade number four. I love it because it just adds that perfect warmth. helps everything blend in and just look really seamless and also if you have any issues with like just wanting or needing to add some color to your lace this helps so we're just going to add the finishing touches i'm doing my face powder which just adds that final touch um, and just adds extra coverage also so i really love this with whatever foundation i wear whether it's drugstore or not i'm going to always use this powder as long as it exists um, so today we are trying a few new products so i went into this morphe palette and i wanted to go for like more of an orangey red type color for the cheeks so i felt like this was pretty and definitely fall appropriate um i will link the blush down below i don't know if they sell it individually but i did end up getting that eight quad like a long time ago so you will see it in the future because I definitely need to do like more drugstore um, products. So yeah. All right, so I'm getting ready to go in with my lip. I'm using Coco Poule. So I feel like for any neutral look, I definitely think you can always play around with the lip colors, but I wanted something that was daytime appropriate. So of course I'm gonna go with a nude. Um, now a nude, I get lots of questions on what nudes people should wear. Honestly, it doesn't matter your complexion. I definitely think you can wear any shade of nude. It's really all in applying a liner. See, it just made a difference. And then we're gonna pop on a little gloss. You really could wear this without the gloss if you wanted to, if you are a matte girl. Um, next, I'm gonna go in and we are gonna seal the face. So I'm applying um, my face spray. Um, I will link it down below. It is drug, well, I feel like it's drugstore because you can find it at Ulta, but I did end up mixing it also. So I don't know, I just like this duo combo. So we are gonna go with it. And then I'm just using my little fan to dry it up, which I love the way this looks. It looks so good. All right, y'all. So I'm not really sure how I want to wear the hair. If I want to wear it like this. Um, I love how it reacted to my mousse and my gel. Like, it didn't get big. I sectioned it off. And it's a little crispy right now. It is a little crispy. But I actually like it like this. Um, I feel like if you want to fluff it out, you could. Nah, I ain't trying to do all of that. Um, to be 100. Because I don't want my hair to get too big. So, I like it in the middle part, honestly. Um, I'm going to try to kind of flip it over and see if I like it like that. But I miss this may be the go this may be the look right here um actually i like this i like this i'm gonna do it like you know like a oh that's cute too that's cute too hold on y'all all right you guys so honestly i like it i feel like i didn't kind of comb some of the mousse out i probably should have kept so i like it to the side because i feel like that just tames it even more and it's not like so big like this, is this the move? Are we gonna do a side part? Or are we just gonna go with the girl next door 
you know, middle part. So I wanted to show you guys my scent of the day. I'm still gonna go out. It's a little later than what I wanted, but it is what it is. I still gotta get stuff done. So I am wearing Burberry. Um, God, it smells so good. If you really like sweet scents, this is gonna be your thing. Definitely check it out if you have not, but I'm sure. I know most of you guys probably have this. Um, this is actually new to me. Well, not new to me. I knew of it and I just actually got it um, a while ago. So just started wearing it though, but. That is my scent of the day. So I wanted to come and show you guys the finished look of the hair. Um, this is it, it is dried. Um, now this hair is so soft that even when I have, like I can tell that my mousse is taming it, but my hands have kind of been in it and I'm trying to keep my hands out because it just keeps it getting bigger and bigger. Um, I do think that, I, I do like the fact that the hair is so soft though, so it's not like something that is out of control. I feel like I can tame it still, um, but the hair gonna get big. Like, like it's, it's gonna get big. I probably should have wore it in the side part so that way I could see like my earrings and stuff, but I just decided on just doing a bust down middle part. I felt like it was cute. Plus, I really like the way the highlights are on this unit. I felt like when I would flip it over, I would have to flip it like right here because there's not really, there's highlights down here, but there's no highlights right here. So I felt like when I was flipping it that way, um, you weren't able to like completely see it. I am truly addicted to highlights. I love a good low light highlight moment. Did a really, really great job with this color. I like it. Honestly, I would wear this all year round. Um, this is just that type of hair and it dries really, really fast. But yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure to check out Nadula Hair. I would love for you guys to join the family. Go ahead and become a part of the MCD squad. Turn on those post notifications when you do. And I will check you guys in my next video. Later.